Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Sherry. Good morning to you. Happy Thursday. Hey, Heartbeat Troy. Happy Thursday to you as well. Heartbeat Aaliyah. Heartbeat Lisa. Heartbeat Rachel. Good morning. Happy Thursday to you guys. Happy Friday Eve. Hey, Heartbeat Eva. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. Hey, Heartbeat Doris. Heartbeat Juanita. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the Heart Gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is a continuation of all week. It won't work, part four. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Anita. Good morning, good morning. So we're looking at our foundation scripture that we've been using all week, Isaiah 54, 17, reading it this morning out of the New Living Translation. And it says this, but in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. And you need to know that, that no weapon formed against you will prosper. Remembering that the scripture says it won't prosper. It did not say it wouldn't form, but it said it will not prosper. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. And it says this. I want to concentrate on this today. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. How do you silence every voice that's raised up um, that accuses you? It's based on your reaction. That's what it's based on. The Bible says, again, you will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. Again, how do you do that? We talked about that on yesterday. We're staying in the presence of God, that when you stay in the presence of God, that there is a sweet aroma that comes from you. Amen. And so it's all in your actions. Again, it did not say that it wouldn't form, but it said it wouldn't prosper. And based on your reactions, based on how you handle it, will silence the accuser. Amen. And so I just want to, um, some of you have heard this before, but I just want to tell you the story about the carrot, the egg, and the coffee bean. Amen. All three of these things had the same, were put in the same situation. They were all put into a pot of boiling hot water. And so we all know that things start out the same for most of us, but then challenges come. And now it's based on how you deal with it. And so hot water changes things. Hot water will cause you to either flip out. Hot water, and when I say hot water, I mean the trials, the tribulations, the things that come in life. And so we have the carrot, we have the egg and we have the coffee bean and so the carrot it went into the hot water strong it went into the hot water hard but because of life circumstances it caused it to get soft it caused it to get mushy it caused it to get weak and so I'm asking you as I go through these three things which one are you the carrot again it starts off strong it's hard it's crunchy but once it gets into the boiling hot water somehow or another that boiling hot water breaks it down it becomes soft it becomes mushy it becomes weak then we have the egg the egg which is, has a fragile outer shell you know that before you cook an egg, if you drop it, it's going to crack. It's going to break. It has that liquidy yolk on the inside of it. But when it's boiled, what happens? It becomes hardened. Amen. And then we have the coffee bean, the coffee bean, the coffee bean, the coffee bean, the coffee bean. Once it's placed in the water, it doesn't matter. It starts off, you know, a little bean is dark. The water is clear. But what happens? The hotter the water gets with the coffee bean, somehow or another, the hot water doesn't change the coffee bean. The coffee bean changes the hot water. You notice when you put coffee beans in water, the water now becomes dark. 
out because the coffee bean has the authority. The coffee bean has the power. It doesn't allow the hot water to, to change it. It doesn't allow the hot water to, you know, it changes the hot water. And so what am I saying to you? The very thing that brought you the trial, the very thing that brought you the trouble, you ought to change it, not cha let it change you. You notice that the hotter the water gets, that the coffee bean gets, what happens if you're in the house? There begins to be an aroma. You begin to smell coffee. I'm not even a coffee drinker, but I love the way that it smells because it gives off a sweet aroma. And so Heartbeat Nation, I'm asking you on this morning that when the weapon forms, what are you? Are you the carrot that when the hot water, the trials, the tribulations come, you become all mushy inside? You lose all of your substance? Are you the egg that you get all hardened and you just shut down and nobody can say anything to you? Or are you the coffee bean? You change the atmosphere. The hot water doesn't bother you. You bother the hot water. You cause the hot water to change. The hot water now resembles you. The hot water now has a sweet aroma. The hot water now has a smell. The hot water now causes everybody in the house to come down to the kitchen. What is that smell? The hot water begins to make you somebody that doesn't even drink coffee want to just sample it, want to just taste it because it smells so good. Which one are you? When trials and tribulations come, are you the egg? Are you the carrot? Or are you the coffee bean? Remember it says, the scripture says that you will silence the voices of the accuser. So will you silence the voices of the accuser because you are the coffee bean? You're showing them just how strong you are. You're showing them that you're standing on the word of God. You're showing them that your faith works, that no matter what comes, no matter what goes, you believe the word of God. Heartbeat Nation, I went through th three and I pray that you chose that you are the coffee bean. Even if you found yourself being the carrot or you found yourself being the egg, it's okay because today is a new day. Any Anytime that you can renew your mind, anytime you can see the word, hear the word, understand the word, you can be changed into the word. So if you fell in the category of being the, the carrot, turning all mushy inside when troubles come, if you found yourself being the egg, you get all hardened. When trouble comes, that is okay because today, right at this very moment, you have an opportunity to switch your brain, depend on God, trust his word, and be the coffee bean, the one that changes the hot water and causes the hot water to change colors, causes the hot water to send off a sweet aroma. This is how you silence the accuser. You silence all of your accusers by standing in faith, walking alongside God, and then they get to watch God work. I'm telling you, it won't work no matter what the enemy sends. If you're standing on a foundation that is built in the word of God, it won't work. Hey, listen, that's your daily dosage for the day. It won't work part four. Remember, as you're going on about the day, you're thinking about it. Am I the carrot? Am I the egg? Or am I the coffee bean? Hey, listen, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. And according to Heartbeat Keynotes, they won't kill, but it will heal if you overdose. Uh, follow me on all social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Say, God wants me whole, and I am getting whole by the minute. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, a.k.a. the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. You know what to do. Go out there and have a spec wow, amazing day. Watch out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. I love you guys a bunch, and I will see you tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m.